What's up, YouTube? Well, this one might come off a little bit weird, but I'm getting ready to make some sauerkraut. <laughs> when we set off to live this different lifestyle and we had to pare everything down, it just didn't seem feasible to bring my fermenting stuff with me. Uh, so anyhow, I uh, handed that off to my son who has done exceptionally well. He makes the best pickles I've ever tasted in my life. Anyhow, now I'm out here and I really want some sauerkraut and there's nothing better than homemade sauerkraut. So I'm going to <laughs> make some sauerkraut. But uh, before I can make the sauerkraut, I need to make a tool to smash it down into the jar. I think they call it a muddle. I don't know. It's a stick you can push your star sauerkraut down into the corners of your jar and smash it. Uh, maybe it's called a stomper. Anyhow, so uh, I have a jar I can use. I'm just going to uh, fix myself a stomper. And then getting ready to make myself a stomper, Shelly said she needs a small rolling pin to make her granola bars with. So I'm going to whip out a little rolling pin for her to roll down her uh, granola bars with and make myself a stomper and then get on to making some sauerkraut. Okay guys, there's one other element to this that I didn't speak about, but I also want to make some homemade pizza. So instead of making the stomper with a swish in the middle and making it look all fancy, I left it straight and that way I can multitask it and use it as a rolling pin for my pizza dough. So. I left one end square and I rounded the other end so I could get down into the corners once I sand that nub off. So I think this is going to be super awesome. I'm pretty sure somebody will ask. I have no idea what kind of wood this is. <laughs> it's some kind, of, it was sold to me basically as the species rosewood. But it was kind of a, not a typical looking rosewood that I've ever dealt. Anyhow, I've had it for a long time. Finally going to get some use out of it as a rolling pin. This is working perfect, honey. Look at that. My granola bars. Oh, I've been missing those. So you just need to have something to compact it all down. That's why I said don't. Just leave it straight. So just pop it in the freezer. Let it freeze for a few minutes and then cut them up into little squares. Yummy goodness. Oh, there. Okay, man, I'm ready to stuff my cabbage into that jar. I got my poker stick all worked out. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, that is a good clean head of cabbage. Mm -hmm. 
put in one tablespoon of salt there. I haven't done this for a while, so I don't remember. I'm going to put caraway seeds in there. But I do remember I used to have a bigger bowl. This will all come together in here. It's just a matter of time. So I just kept massaging that and squeezing it till it broke down like that. I remember I like caraway seeds in it, but I don't remember how much. So in the interest of knowing what I'm going to do next time, I think I'll put in a tablespoon. Seems right to me, I don't know. Let's see. Got that in a quart jar. We have one if we need one. Hmm. Okay. Operation switching to a quart jar because <laughs> this one's so big uh, it'll be hard to get keep everything under the liquid in there. Alright, let me find a quart jar here. Phase two, if we don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> now I'm going to switch it into this smaller jar. I don't know how hard this is going to be. Because I got it packed in there so good. Boy, before that's fermented, it tastes like scamono. So, I ordered myself some more fermenting weights and some bleeder tops, but I'm too uh, ready to get this going and see. So when they come in, I can actually just add them onto this. But what I'm gonna do is just put this guy on here. And that should keep everything down underneath the water. And a week or two, I should have some awesome sauerkraut. And as the ferment grows, it can just burp out around that rim and fall into the dish, and I just keep the dish emptied out. So we'll see how it goes, but packed in there nice, and I got plenty of juice and everything. It tastes delicious before it's even fermented, so I'm looking forward to having some fresh sauerkraut. Okay, guys, there she is. I re I didn't remember how much I loved just the salted cabbage when I was mixing it up. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. But I don't know where I'm going to find to put it, but I know it's not going to live there very long because my partner will be like, hey. Now, I think we can put it back over here, maybe. And then it'll be out of the way. Back behind the piggy bank? Yeah, or we can just put the piggy bank back here for a while. See, it wasn't even 10 seconds into the discussion and I already got moved. I knew that was coming. Because <laughs> Mama likes a clean counter. That's right. I like my workspace. What can I say? Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just up here in the, in the uh, pine trees hanging out, taking a down day. And I thought it'd be Enjoy great to life. Get some uh, sauerkraut going because it's so good for your gut bacteria, and it—I love the way it tastes. We just—we just plain love it. And the stuff you buy at the store sucks, so. It's not quite, as, quite, not quite the same, huh? Yeah. So anyhow, 
I did my job. Now Mother Nature will do hers and enjoy it later. So I hope you guys have uh, lots of fun projects going on, lots of friends and lots of love in your life. And we'll catch you in the next video. See you later.